What's up, guys? We're here at the field today. In today's video, he's going to fly. So I'm going to shadow him. In this video, will be a little bit of information on kind of how to work with your kid to, to learn how to fly. The first thing we're going to do is learn how to fly line of sight. And then we're going to strap up the goggles on him and let him fly the goggles. And today, we're using the brand new DJI Avada 2. Are you ready to fly? Yeah. What do you think it's going to be like? Oh. Um, think it's going to be easy? I think it's probably going to be a little bit easy. Think it's going to be like a video game? Yeah, probably like the um, Nintendo thing with Zelda and uh, Mario. Yeah, Nintendo Wii? Yeah, Nintendo Wii. Kind of feels like that, the controller, doesn't it? Yeah. So we're going to fly at line of sight first. So that means we're just going to look at it and fly it. And you're going to learn the controls. And then after you learn the controls and how to fly it, like looking at it on the ground over there and around in the field, then we'll put the goggles on your head and you can do the fully like immersive FPV flying. Okay. You ready? Yeah. All right. Let's do some flying. All right, buddy. I bought it too. You're going to fly for the first time. Hold the stick. Press and hold it for a sec. One more time. There you go. All right, now you're up in the air, left and right. And then this, this little stick right here, that makes it go up. If we press that, it goes up, see? Yeah, that's cool. Press down, that makes it go down. Press the trigger. Remember how I told you press forward, kind of makes it go forward. And then pulling back, it's going up. That is so cool, that's cool. You can also use this button, this button right here makes it go up and down and then side to side with this it's kind of like a game controller right yeah so it just takes a little bit of getting used to it just go really slow with it okay and you're gonna be flying in no time just experiment with all of the different buttons and angles so squeeze the trigger you know how that that gives you more throttle in the motor And if you let go, if you get worried about where your drone is at or where it's headed, say if it was gonna like go toward the van or something, all you have to do is let go of the controls and it'll kind of stop doing what it's doing. You're making it come toward us, isn't that neat? So as you play with it more and more, you're just gonna learn and understand what the controls do. It's different than the other drones we've flown because it doesn't have two sticks. This has a single joystick, like a game, like Nintendo Wii. So now you're using the joystick on the top of the remote. And it takes some practice, right? But you know what the good thing is? You know what the best thing is? What? It's not letting you crash, right? You haven't crashed it. Even though you're doing all that movement around with the joystick, you haven't crashed it yet. So it's like really, in my mind, it's really beginner friendly because of that. Like, that's huge. With those kind of motions with just about anything else RC, he would have already crashed. Most people that fly RC airplanes, you know, a little bit of stick movement makes a big change on the aircraft. So. In beginner mode that we're flying today, this really makes a huge difference. If you have a young person or somebody who's new to RC, see how he's moving stick up and down and the drone is going up and down. So it reacts by motion, motion controller three. So you getting the hang of that? You don't have to make such big movements. You can kind of make smaller movements to make it go up and down. You're figuring it out, aren't you? Very cool. You figured out how to spin it around? So after we learn this, we're gonna go ahead and do some FPV goggles. We're gonna put him inside the drone and let him do some Star Wars flying. Like we're on the Ewok planet. All right, let's do it, you guys. 
Do some FPV. I think he's ready. Be inside the goggles this time? Yeah, that sounds fun. That, was, that sounds really fun. He was, it uh, sounds like the Star Wars uh, li ride at Disneyland. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 exactly. Millennium. Exactly. Millennium Falcon. The Millennium Falcon, but yeah. you're going to be Anakin today. You ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Fist bumps. Press that, press that orange button once, then press it again. There we go. Good. All right. So now we're going to head out into the field. I want you to push forward and go out into the field. All right. You spun it around. Good job. Cool. Boy, I see you. Yeah, you see yourself, don't you? You see me? See if you can fly out into the field. Does that feel like a video game? What does it feel like? A video game. Cooler than a video game. Cooler than a video game? Yeah. You kind of look like a Jedi. Now anybody could be a Jedi, right? That's what I wanted to be my whole life. True Jedi. You feel like you're moving your body like with the drone, right? I felt yesterday when I was flying this that like when I was moving my hands for the controls, I had to move my entire body. I was like leaning into it, like I was sitting in the cockpit, like almost like playing PlayStation. Getting higher up there now. And you know, in beginner mode, it's great because Years past, I had a lot of DJI drones that just get away from you super fast. And in this mode right here, it literally only moves like a couple miles an hour. And so since it moves so slow, it's, it's really hard to get into like a really sketchy situation with it. So for a trainer, that's like one of my dream come true, honestly. This makes it so much easier for people. And he's just, you know, first time flying FPV with the Avada 2. He's flown FPV before. We've done some indoor flying line of sight. And we've done some backyard FPV. But this is a whole different experience with stick controller. Feels much different than we normally fly, huh, Keith, with the radio? What do you, what do you think about this type of flying? How different is this? Does it feel like more like Nintendo Wii video game? Yeah, that, this is really cool, honestly. I like it. Are you glad Dad spent the money on this one? Yeah, this one is my favorite. <laughs> okay, is that wind? Look like a little bit of wind. No, that's wind from your motors. Fly up a little higher. There you go. Yeah, good job, buddy. You're getting the hang of it. You know, two or three batteries, and you're gonna be zooming around the field like Anakin Skywalker. Yeah, lift it up, lift up your hands to make it go higher, and pull your throttle down to, to make, it, make the motors more powered and go forward faster. Yeah, hold your throttle down and it'll keep going forward. Doing a great job. Pull back to make it go up. <laughs> You're really leaning into it. <laughs> That's what I was doing. When I first started flying FPV, I was sitting in a chair, Keith, and I like fell out of a chair. It was, it was, it felt like I was having vertigo. This is so cool. I love it. This this drone is definitely my favorite. I I love it. This is just so cool. 
<laughs> this is. What the fuck is that? Is that an H for? Oh. Okay. Oh, the H came up. Maybe you're returning to home because it's got a low battery. So when it gets a low battery, it automatically comes back to home. Okay, he's got a low battery and he's making his way back over to the home point. Whenever you get to around like 30% battery, it's always a good time to just start making your way back home. But with these little Cinewoops, we don't really fly that far away because they're just made to fly close in and do like proximity style cinema stuff. When I say proximity, it just means stay close in. I can see you're heading back to us. So, use your forward stick to bring the drone back over. Okay, now, so now it's beeping at you. It's telling you that it has to return to home on its own. So when it gets to a low battery state, it's gonna come back to home automatically. And sometimes you can click a button and take it out of that if you wanna just keep flying. But you're doing great. You're coming back this direction. You made it back over here from the field. You can land right there if you want to. There you go. Good job. Now it's gonna turn the motors off automatically. This is so cool. Good job, buddy. What do you think? This is, I think this is cooler. <laughs> this is so cooler than a video game. Cooler than a video game. That was so fun. That, <laughs> that felt like I was actually in there. That, that was good. That was so fun. <laughs> so yeah we have uh, another future pilot here he's uh pretty stoked about it what do you you mean you said it was better than a video game yeah better than a video game and um the disneyland um millennium falcon ride where you like get to pilot it better than disneyland like i said before uh, i feel like this is a good trainer if you if you have someone who's brand new to fpv i mean keith has never flown this one before and the past couple days was my first experience with the motion controller and it takes some getting used to. I'm not a huge fan of this style of controller uh, and it's not going to be super great for flying acro modes once you get to that point where you're flying acro. So I do suggest getting the FPV um, Radio 3 that's just come out as well. It's a, it's a great addition to this uh, and you know if you're going to use this for just flying around and having some fun not worried about too much freestyle stuff, um, then don't worry about it. Stick with this, stick with the stick. But if you wanna get really kind of doing some uh, mountain flying and diving down things and doing gaps and all that, I suggest using the, the regular radio transmitter. But um, as far as beginners go, I think we had a great day today yeah, with the stick. Fun. So I, I think he's pretty stoked on it. We're gonna fly some more batteries. So I appreciate you guys watching. Yeah. I'm, I'm Justin. This is Keith. I'm definitely doing a, a YouTube channel um, when I grow up. I'm gonna. That's my job. That's and my job. Uh, next generation of drone camps. We have a we have a brand new pilot here who's uh, up and coming. So you'll probably see more of his videos coming up in the future. But I'm Justin. I'm Dad, and this is Keith. And I will see you guys. We will see you guys on the next one, right? Yeah. Right. See you on the next one. Take care, guys. See ya. See ya. Bye.